that God granted him grace, called some of his partners and worked together. And within a year, this gentleman got a gift and went back to the office of that senior advocate. He knelt down and said, thank you for changing my life. Then the senior advocate asked him, he said, do you know what happened to you? That's what I'm interested in. Keep your gift. You have to study what happened to you so that you will use it on others too. Favor is when an individual invests his credibility on you. Listen carefully. Who likes you in this kingdom matters. For many of us, we live in a world where the only thing we know is money. Once money is not in front of you, you don't care about any other thing again. If they keep money and they keep men, you will carry money and it will finish and you will go back to square one. There are seven currencies that we use to purchase realities in this kingdom. Everything is bought. There are seven currencies. The least of them is money. I pray for you, Koinonia, from the depth of my heart. May you never be so poor that the only thing you have is money. Yeah. Let me pray that prayer again. And I say it with every sense of responsibility. May you never be so poor that the only thing you have is money in your ATM. Yeah. Please sit down. There are superior currencies. Money itself, you see, we have a series on finances coming. But money itself, you see, is a product. There is a capital that buys it. The name of the capital that buys money is what the Bible calls true riches. Money itself is a product. Are you getting what I'm teaching you now? Yes. If I want to buy this Bible, come, come, lift this up. If you want to buy this Bible, will you be offended if I bring out money just to use? Ah, huh? okay, watch this. Please watch this. This, for instance, this is a hundred dollar bill. Lift it up. Watch this. If let's assume this is hundred dollars, people are following from around the world, so we're using something universal. If this if you want to buy this product, you need this. Is that true? So that means if I give you this, you start smiling because this is already a victim of the abundance of this. But if you want to buy this, what do you use? Because this is also a product. What do you use to buy this? Money buys this. But what if it is money you want to buy itself? What do you use to buy it? The one who is wealthy is not the one who has this. The one who is wealthy is one who has the capital that buys this. I've made up my mind to go God's way for the rest of my life. I've made up my mind. You know, Many people believe that preachers are unintelligent people and when it has to do with salvation alone that they have something to say. When it has to do with the matters that help people to excel and live a victorious Christian life while serving the purposes of the kingdom with dignity and honor. Most people believe the house of God is not the go-to place. It's a wrong narrative and I hope that by these meetings God is using it to, he's changing our minds. The church is not a nuisance to civilization. Please understand this. Not every man of God is moving around trying to look for money and manipulate people. There are people who fear God sincerely and intend to be contributors to nation building. Are you learning? Thank you. Thank you. Now listen. Pay attention. Favor. One person, write this down, please. 